Hey guys, Shane Stars with Droid Mutter X, and I'm still running Beans Build on my Galaxy Note 2. Now, I did jump over to CyanogenMod Mod 10 for a little while, but I was missing some of my TouchWiz features, so I jumped back over to Beans Build. It's now updated to build number 3, so we head to Settings and About Phone. You'll see that we're on Android version 4.1.1, and we're now on Jelly Beans Build number 3 by Beanstown 106. Uh, this thing just really continues to impress. Uh, it includes some custom modifications like the multi-window here with all of your applications. So that's one of the main features that I like about this ROM. You do have that modification there. We do have Google Now incorporated which is pretty cool. So there's been a few additions to Beans Build 3. One of those is the torch from the lock screen. So you just press and hold the power button and that turns on the torch like so. He has Wi-Fi Tether built into the settings, so you can actually use the uh, Wi-Fi Tether that comes in the settings, or you can use this modified wire uh, Wi-Fi Tether. Some of you guys are afraid to use the one that's built into settings. I promise you Verizon's not going to charge you. If you have unlimited, you can use that one. But this is the modified version of Wi-Fi Tether that works with the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, so this, uh, you can use this and it's going to work. So he's done a lot of de-bloating in this ROM and uh, giving it more of an AOSP look and feel. Of course, you can choose to go with the touch launcher whenever you're installing this, but I prefer more of the AOSP look and feel, but I do like those features, like the pop-up window, uh, which is here, and also, of course, the multi-window S-Note. You can use your S-Pen. S-Pen functions incredibly with this. Uh, you're still gonna have that Samsung camera. So you'll have your Samsung camera with burst mode and all of that good stuff. It does include Dropbox, so you can have your free Dropbox storage. There's some other modifications like center clock. The battery mod is there. This thing has been tweaked and modded uh, for speed and performance. You're going to get high scores on Quadrant. I was getting well over 6,000, close to 6,500 in Quadrant on this phone. And you can see just how it flies through the screens and how quickly it launches applications. He's also included the Wi-Fi Notify Killer, so whenever, uh, as you can see, it's not there. I have my Wi-Fi toggle along with these other toggles, uh, but the Wi-Fi notification is gone, so that's totally removed here, so that won't be pestering you anymore. There is a My UI Battery Bar mod option, so if we go into Settings and Custom Settings, there are a few options here, so you have your toggle settings, uh, you can actually change the widget buttons that are included in your toggle bar, and you can change the order of those. And then you have your brightness modes and sound modes. You have battery bar settings, so this would be your My UI battery bar. Uh, you can change your height here, I think up to 7. And that should show up. I don't see it here. It may require a reboot. You can change the color. See, there it is. You can change the color. And there's all sorts of modifications for that My UI battery bar. Some text messaging pop up settings here as well. And that's about all for the custom settings. So he has enabled the rotate uh, for 360 degrees. You can turn it all the way around, which is really nice if you drive and uh, for whatever reason you need to be able to turn that around. There's also a custom power menu that has custom recovery, download mode, and restart in the restart menu. So we're going to go into recovery and flash this ROM. So you can flash this from either Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. First you'll wipe data, factory reset. I'm going to go back because I've already installed this. We'll wipe cache partition. Select yes, I'm going to go back, advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, select yes, I'm going to go back, then you'll install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, we're going to go to down the download folder, if you downloaded it directly to your phone that's where it will be, and we're looking for Jelly Beans B3 for build 3, go ahead and install that. And this should boot up the Aroma installer. 
Okay, so this is where you can do all your customization. Uh, for the clock position, I'll go with right. I'm going to go with no AM or PM. The battery style, I like the ICS blue with percentage. And we'll go with the most amount of toggles that we can have. I like the Nova launcher or the Apex launcher. Either one of those are great launchers. You can still go with the TouchWiz launcher if you prefer. Uh, you can have both file managers there or one or the other. And I'll go with the Jelly Bean MMS. I'll go with the Android 4.2 keyboard. And I'll go with the CM10 Apollo and AOSP UI sounds. Here's where you can remove your bloat. And you can choose which Google applications you'd like to have. I'm going to go with that wireless tether. That's the modified wireless tether. And then you can choose to block ads here, but I choose not to because I feel like it's not fair to creators. And then we'll install the ROM. So give this just a few minutes. This is very fast installing ROM. And then you'll reboot into the system. Okay, so after a few minutes, you'll see this screen is just saying that you're finished. We'll go to next. Finish. And we'll go back and reboot system now. It does include a custom boot animation by Beanstown, uh, which is pretty cool. But guys, that is all for Beans Build 3. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more coverage on this device and other devices. Follow me at, on Twitter at DroidModerX. Be sure to check out my website, DroidModerX.com, for the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.